Hello Challoners, hi and welcome to my assembly on making your own rockets. This is something a little bit different. This is for those of you that are maybe craving a little bit of practical work. You can try to build your own rocket using sodium bicarbonate and white or malt uh, vinegar. Strictly speaking, in a chemist's point of view, it is colourless vinegar, but I'm not going to split hairs. So if you look at the picture on the left, these are things that you might need. OK, obviously, let's make sure let's get the health and safety stuff out of the way first. Wash your hands and give it a good hand sanitise. And what you're going to need is you're going to need some straws, uh, some bungs, some tape, um, a plastic bottle. I'm just using a very small Coke bottle here. Um, you can use any size bottle that you so wish. Um, I've got some baking powder there. That's not any old baking powder though, but any other brands are available. And I've got my bottle of colourless or malt vinegar. The first thing to do is to think about the design of your rocket. And you can see in the middle slide a couple of examples of the designs that I use. Um, you can see the way I've taped the um, straws to give the legs to your rocket. Um, I did one with three straws and I did one with four straws to begin with. Um, now, over time, you know, as with all good science experiments, these evolved. And I found I actually had real problems with making this stable and my rocket to stay upright. Um, the three worked, you know, quite well. Um, I then sort of combined ideas and I think there's something like about eight straws on the middle one there. And I even went down to um, very, very simple. Uh, I just basically turned uh, the bottle upside down and stood it on the cork. Um, and I actually found that to be the best. But who knows what you do with your experimenting and whether you try, uh, you might find that it's better, you know, to use the straws. Um, I use sodium bicarbonate and white vinegar or malt vinegar. You can also do this with um, Alka-Seltzer tablets and water. So what you can do, you can click on the little picture of me there. Please excuse my garden. It's been very much used as a football pitch over lockdown and um, it has been um, ravaged. Um, and you know, my job for the autumn will be to replant that and to nurture my, my grass uh, back to health. So if you click on the little link there, you should be able to see uh, the um, me actually carrying out the experiment. Um, and you can see actually how high it went. Uh, the bush behind me there is about, I would say is probably about two meters tall, just to give you a little bit of scale. And you can see how high this goes. Now this, needless to say, this was not my first attempt at this. Um, I tried both the sodium bicarbonate and vinegar. I tried the Alka-Seltzer and water reactions. Um, and, you know, it was quite frustrating. Um, and the fun bit really was trying and trying again and thinking it through and how else can I design this and how is it going to work better? One of the major problems that I found was how to deliver the sodium bicarbonate. Um, I tried the ways uh, it was suggested in wrapping it in toilet roll so that it was a bit of a slower delivery. Um, I tried using a bit of paper just to pour the sodium bicarbonate in. Um, and, you know, that worked pretty well, but sometimes it got stuck. And so then I tried to use a bit more of glossy paper. And that seemed to work, you know, OK, but you try it, you try, have a go. You know, it might not be that it worked best first time, but, you know, you just keep going and you keep trying and you get it, you know, working the yeah. best that you can. And then it becomes a, a real success for you. Um, now, if you have a go at this, you know, and you would like to share with us your um, successes, that would be brilliant. One thing I would say, though, is that make sure that you do this with a responsible adult around. Um, luckily, my wife was around uh, when I was doing this. Uh, so she was keeping me in check, making sure that I was safe. And actually, she told me to scale it down because the example that I saw online about this, they actually used a two litre uh, water bottle for it. Um, 
you know, you could try lots of things, you know, to, you know, for a bung, um, you know, if this didn't work for me, I was going to think, you know, how could I use a washing up liquid bottle? That tends to have a little flip top lid. Can I use that as well? Um, so the main thing is, is for you to have a go and have a try. And if you do, please share it with us. Um, if you'd like to know where this idea comes from, it comes from the Royal Society of Chemistry's Chemistry in Your Cupboard series. Um, so it's all about using the chemicals you actually have at home. I wanted to wait to share this with you so that, you know, we're getting out of the idea of, of that idea of going out only on essential shopping journeys. Um, they have got other ideas on here like uh, making no freezer ice cream. Uh, they turn uh, chocolate milk into chocolate ice cream. They've got making butter. Uh, they've also got how to make your own colorimeters. And I've just included the link in there for you to have a go. So please try something different.